What's happening, guys? I hope everyone's doing good out there. How are we doing on this lovely Friday, everyone? What's up, David? Doing awesome right now. Doing really good. Yep. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to get this workout out of the way. Um, it's a little cold here in Boston. It's kind of rainy, kind of gross. Um, but tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed to be uh, like a high of 62 and uh, sunny and uh, time to get outside. And. Um, Get ready to go. That's fine. It's all good. You can warm up, and uh, after that, you can go coach the uh, coach the class. Well, it's a little before noon, guys. We'll give it a few more minutes uh, before we get rocking and rolling. Um, see if we can get some more people on the screen and uh, then we'll get this thing going. Um, I've written the workout on the board here behind me, that whiteboard. Um, hopefully, you guys can see it. Um, if you guys can't see it, just let me know and I can uh, copy and paste it in the chat. It's great, guys. If anyone has anything before we start, you guys are more than welcome to throw that stuff in the chat. You know, unfortunately, you know, I can't see any of you guys. Um, but, you know, like always, we do our best in making things happen and give you the best product that we can possibly, possibly give you guys. It's noon on the dot. Like I said, we'll give it a couple more, uh, just like a couple minutes, go to like 12.02, uh, just to give you late stragglers. Um, if there's anyone, uh, still trying to get in here. I'll uh, give them a few more minutes. Uh, like I said, that workout uh, that we're going to do today is really up behind me. Uh, that whiteboard, uh, there is a equipment option as well as a no equipment option. So make sure 
uh, you guys write that stuff down and um, obviously we will go through a little warm up, we'll go through some skill portions of uh, this warm up where we uh, kind of discuss and uh, really nail down the form and technique, I should say, of those movements that we're going to do in the workout. So that dumbbell snatch, if we've got um, equipment available to us uh, for that handstand hold, we'll go through a bunch of different options as well as a little bit of progression to maybe get you closer to getting upside down, or even if we are, you can't get upside down, what are some tips and tricks and how can I you know, make this handstand hold better and maybe hold on for a little bit longer? Um, so we'll go over that um, as we go through the workout in the morning. But as always, throw that stuff in there. Oh man, well good to see you guys. Um, sorry that you guys have to go to class. Both you and, and, and David, we need to figure out um, maybe the noon class isn't the best time for this um, for this live stream. You know, maybe there's a better time that works for you guys. Um, if there is a maybe a later in the day for you, maybe earlier in the day for us, um, just throw that in the comments, throw that in the chat. Let me know if there's a better time uh, so we can try to maximize the amount of people that we're getting into this class. Um, as well as you know, being able to offer it to as many people um, as we possibly can. So throw that stuff in the chat. If it's earlier in the day for you, if it's later in the day, you know, I'd love for you guys to be able to take a class and uh, you know, see how this thing works out. Also, don't forget, even though you're not able to watch it live, uh, you can still go back on the Handplan YouTube channel and re-watch this thing. Um, you guys can always do that. All right, guys, like I said, it is 12.02. We're right on time, ready to rock and roll. We've got a good amount of people in the uh, in the room right now, which is great. Uh, my name is Spencer Handel. I am uh, one of the hand planners, um, and it's really good to be here with you guys on this Friday afternoon. So we're going to go through the hand at home option as far as the workout goes today. It's also written on the board here behind me on this whiteboard. If you guys can't see it, uh, please make sure that you guys um, – Throw that in the chat for me, and I can also throw the workout in the chat if that would make it easier for you guys to see and read. Uh, we do have an equipment option and a no equipment option. The equipment option is going to be a 15 minute AMRAP wrap of two dumbbell snatches, just power snatches, all right? We'll need to squat, and then followed up by two squats. So you're already going to be squatting, so no need to make that squat snatch. So it'll be two power snatches. One in each arm, and then we'll bring it down somewhere in the body, maybe the rack position, maybe one of the shoulders. If you really wanted to spice this up, you could just keep that dumbbell in the overhead position, and we could perform overhead squats uh, with that dumbbell. I would bring it really spicy considering we are going overhead with the handstands, but I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, and with that two and two, we're going to do that 10 times. All right, that's going to be the first exercise that we do. And the second one's going to be a 60 second handstand hold. Now, on the uh, hand plan programming, it does give you a one minute rest in between rounds. I'm not going to give that to you. All right? The reason being is we're going to rest plenty um, before, uh, before getting back up onto the handstands. You know, we may be able to hold 60 seconds for the first round, but come the second round, it's going to get very, very challenging. Um, Bubbles the doggy, board is out of focus. I hear that. Um, let me put this in the chat then for you. It'll make it a little bit better. All right, that's gonna be the, no, that's gonna be the equipment option. That's going to be the no equipment option. All right. So sorry that that's not in focus. I'm not sure why um, that is in focus. But anyhow, um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, good. All right, good, good, good. All right. So and then the non equipment option, we're going to go four reach throughs plus a jump plus two squats and then six reps, and then we're going to do that ten times. We do that combo ten times. We do the no equipment option once again. We'll go through this one up. And then we're still going to do a 60 second handstand hold or a challenging 
progression option for those 60 seconds. All right, so let's jump into it uh, throughout this warm up and throughout uh, the skill session. If you guys have any questions, throw that stuff in the chat and I'll be sure to uh, check it out and get back to you guys. But we're going to go through basically a three rounder here of uh, a few different movements. And then, you know, I'm going to give you a certain amount of time to get through this. If we get through it, great. If we don't get through it, it's no big deal. Um, so we're going to start with a toe touch in the plank. All right, so follow me. We're going to go down to the top of the plank position. I'm going to lift my hips high in the air, push my head through the downward dog. My right hand is going to go touch my left foot, and then I'm going to bring it back. And then my left hand is going to go touch my right foot, and then bring it back in neutral. All right, so we're going to go through 20 reps, right to left, back to neutral, and then left to right, and then back to neutral. That's four so far. Keep going. Five, and six. As you start to you know, stretch it out, warm it up a little bit. Really try to push that head through the window like you would downward dog. All right, and then, you know, stretch out those shoulders, really reach for those toes. If you can't quite touch our toes. You guys can touch those shins, maybe even touch the knee. But if you guys can go further than the toes, maybe you can try to hit the heel. Try to get the heel of the foot. Once you guys got 20 reps, you guys can stand on up. And we're going to go to 10 tough jumps, all right? Now, these 10 tough jumps, these 10 tough jumps, we're going to jump up in the air. We're going to bring our knees to our chest, or at least as high as you guys can get them. The higher we jump up off the floor, the more challenging this movement's going to be, and ultimately, the more warm we're going to get. But this is only the first round, so take it easy. We're going to jump, knees above the hips, and then come back down. Jump, knees above the hips, left back down. That's two. You guys got eight more. Ready, go. Three, four, five. Don't hesitate resetting on the floor, guys. Let yourself come back down to the ground, absorb that fall, cushion the fall, and then go back up for your next jump. Use those arms just like you were going to jump on top of the box. All right? One more time. All right, we'll call that 10 for me. Once you guys got 10, we'll move on to our third exercise, which is going to be a V up. All right? With this V up, we'll lay down on the ground. We're going to bring our right hand to our left foot, and then our left hand to our right foot. These are alternating V ups for right now. As we get a little bit more challenging in this warm up, I'll make these a little bit more challenging. Let's see five on the right leg, and then let's go five on the left leg. As we do these V ups, guys, get those shoulders off the floor. Try to bring those hands and feet together in the middle of your body. Try not to leave those shoulders on the ground. If you leave those shoulders on the ground, we're working at a fraction of what we could be. Get those shoulders off the ground. All right, once we've got 10 of those, we're going to flip it over onto our stomach. I'm right, just going to lay flat on the ground, and we're going to do 10 Supermans. Now with these Supermans, hands are going to be extended overhead, feet are behind us, and I want you to lift your hands and shoulders off the ground. At the same time, we lift our feet our knees, and maybe even some of our thighs off the floor as well. We're going to squeeze from 1,000 and then back to the floor. So it's going to look like this. Hands over the head, feet behind us, I lift, squeeze, and then back down. Lift, squeeze, back down. You guys give me 10. Ready, go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep it going, keep it going. Good work, crew. Once you've got 10, you guys can rest. So that was one round. All right, we're going to go through two more times, starting back with those toe touches in the plank. All right, so we'll go back to the plank, right to left, and left to right. Try to stretch it out a little bit further. Remember to come back to that neutral plank position, guys. Come back to that neutral position, and then push through to downward dog. 20 reps. Remember to keep trying to touch a little bit further back on your foot. You can touch your toe, great. You can touch your heel, awesome. If you can only get to your knee or your shin, that's great too. 20 reps, then you guys can stand on up. Once you guys got 20, we'll take a break. Going back to those tough jumps, all right? Moving a little bit faster now. Try and jump a little bit higher. Really get this thing going. Ready? Go. One, two, Three, watch my reset. All right, I'm not immediately hitting the floor. 
and then jumping right back up. I cushion the fall, and then I get myself reset, and I go for another big jump. It's almost like a max effort box jump. The highest box that I can possibly get on top of, that's what I'm shooting for. Finish up your set, going for 10 reps total. Once you guys have 10, we'll lay back down on the floor. Once we're back down on the floor, we did alternating feet up previously. All right, we're gonna go two hands, two feet. So hands overhead, feet in the middle, same as before, I try to get those feet and hands to meet in the middle. If they don't meet the middle, that's when you get off balance one way or the other. All right, so here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Try to get those shoulders off the floor a little bit further. Keep those feet together. Keep it going. Finish up your set. Ten reps. Once you guys have that, we'll roll it on over. Okay, just a different angle for you guys. Try to get my shoulders, my hands, and my feet off the ground at the same time. Ready? Ten to the minute. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And try to squeeze in the middle, squeeze at the top. Maybe give me a quick pause, one 1,000, and then rest. All right, switching it back up. What's up, baby? Good morning. All right, switch it back up. Going back to the top, back to the toe touches of the plank. This is our last round before we start getting into some specific stuff. All right, so down the plank, right to left, and then left to right. Keep going, keep going, going 20 reps here, 20 reps total. Remember to come back to the top of the plank, and then push those hips high in the air, push that head through the window, to downward dog. Touch it as far as we can. We're really trying to speed this up now, guys. This is the third round. We're really trying to get some sweat going here. Trying to speed it up a little bit. There we go. So start to you hear some heavy breathing. To really start to get that heart rate going. Once you guys got 20, you guys can rest. Shake it out real quick. All right, going back to those tough jumps. I want the biggest, highest jumps that you guys can possibly do. Ten of them right now. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. You guys got five more. Come on. Get them up there. Get those knees up as high as you can, as close to that chest as you can. Once you guys have ten total, we'll go back to those V-ups. Now, with these V-ups, I want you to try keeping those legs straighter, feet together. As we come up, try to go for the heels. Now we're not going for the toes. Now the toes are pointed, and we're going for the bottom of the shoe. We're going for the heels. Of course, if we need to scale this movement, you guys can bend your knees and shorten the lever a little bit. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, that's it, finish up. Five reps, go for those heels. Try to hit as high up on those feet as you can. Finish up strong, and then once you guys finish those 10 V-ups, we'll go back down to the floor. We're going to finish you with those Supermans. Really try to squeeze at the top of that uh, position off the floor. Squeeze one 1,000, and then back down. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Things up, feet up, back down. Hands up, feet up, back up. Hands up, feet up, back up. That's three. That's four. That's five. You guys finish up your five more. And there we go. Jack it's coming up. Come on. Hats coming off. Jackets coming off. Hats coming off. Everything coming off. Getting hot here. Getting hot. All right. So we got through a little, just very general, very basic warm up. Now we're going to get into some specific stuff. Okay. If you guys have a dumbbell, a kettlebell, even a barbell available to you, we can use it as far as equipment goes. If you guys have a backpack or something, that's awesome. If we don't have anything, this is going to be one of those options that you guys can use in the workout. And it's going to take the place of these dumbbell snatches. Everyone's going to do this, and then we'll break off, and you guys can do either or. Okay? So from here, we're going to go feet about shoulder width apart, maybe even slightly wider, considering your sumo stance. All right, we're going to do these reach-throughs with a jump. So I'm going to reach through the legs, 
maybe backwards of the heels, like even further behind the heels, and then jump up off the floor. Now when I jump, I'm trying to get as vertical as I can, not any of this nonsense, I'm trying to get tall, and then when I reach through, I'm thinking about sending my hips back as I go down and touch the floor. My back's not gonna be able to stay perfectly straight. I might see a little flexion, a little rounding, and that's okay. I just want you to give me everything you have in trying to pull that chest up as you go down and you send that butt back. Butt back, chest up. All right, let's try four of these reach throughs with a hop. Three, two, one, go. Reach through, hop. Reach through, hop. Legs are slightly bent, guys. You can have a soft knee, but like I said before, mostly just sending your butt back and then touch the floor, hop or hop. All right, that's going to be coupled with two squats. So everyone, no matter if you have a dumbbell or no dumbbell, you guys are going to be squatting. So let's go feet shoulders apart. We're going to go hands right about eye level for me. I want you to follow me on these first couple, and then I'll cut you loose. We're going to send our butt back, and we're going to drive our knees out and go down a quarter of the leg. Right here in the quarter, push your knees out a little bit further, pull your chest up a little bit higher by raising those hands above your eyes. And then send your butt back, go down a halfway. Holding it halfway, Drive your heels into the ground by wiggling those toes. Raise your hands up a little bit higher. Let's go down all the way. Hold your bottom position in your squat. Push your knees out a little bit further, and then stand on up. That was one rep, all right? Keep in mind this is a warm up, all right? Just get loose. Let's try it again. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands right about eye level. Send your butt back, push your knees out, go down a quarter of the way. Quarter of the way down. Push my knees back out a little bit further and push my butt back a little bit more. Reach back like you're sitting in a chair. Halfway down. Keep going back. Notice some back in my heels. If it helps to wiggle those toes, wiggle those toes. Raise your hands up a little higher. Maybe above your head. All the way down. Hold that bottom position. Ready? And stand. That was two. I want you guys to get three more. No pausing. Just go all the way down to the bottom of your squat and all the way up. All the way down. All the way up, that's two, and then that's three. All right, big takeaways from that air squat, guys. Hips go back, knees go out. If it helps to float those toes and wiggle those toes, I'm always back at my heels. All right, not necessarily balancing, but let's say mid foot to heel, all right? That's where I want you guys balancing through. Now, let's couple those things together. You're gonna do those four reach throughs plus two squats. Four reach throughs plus two squats, ready? Go. Four reach throughs, jump. Four reach throughs, jump. That's three. This is four. And then right into two squats. Go ahead. All right, now in that body weight version, that little combo, that four plus two, that's one rep. You got 10 of those. All right, now if you're going to do that for the workout, you're going to do that one more time. If I'm using a dumbbell, I'm going to do this, All right? I've got my dumbbell. We're going to go two dumbbell deadlifts on the right, two dumbbell deadlifts on the left, right into two dumbbell squats. And I'll show you what those look like here in a second. So I've got my dumbbell. I'm going to go dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell deadlift. That's two. Switch it up. Dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell deadlift. That's two. That's my two deadlifts. Then I'm going to bring the dumbbell up. I'm going to bring it to the shoulder. I like it here in the middle. All right, you can do one shoulder or the other, but I like it right here in the middle. We're going to go two squats with that dumbbell. All right, so on you guys, two deadlifts on the right, two deadlifts on the left, and then two squats with that dumbbell. My people that don't have those objects available to you, going back through those four reach screws plus two squats. Go, 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 go. Good work, Chris. Good work. Once we've got through those couple of movements, we're going to make this dumbbell snatch start to look a little bit more like a dumbbell snatch. We're going to stand up a little faster. As we stand, we're going to pull that elbow high outside. I want you to think about bringing that dumbbell as close along that body as possible. Don't let it be up here. Keep it close and keep that elbow above that object. It's going to look like this. Deadlift, high pull. It's kind of like, let's call it a single arm sumo under the pipe. All right, we're going to do two on the right, and then we'll do two on the left. 
once you guys have that, you guys can rest. My people that don't have any equipment, I want you guys to mind this. All right, just do it with your hands, like you have no equipment, and try it out. It's always use. It's always helpful to go through some of these movements um, without any weight. Just practicing uh, these movement patterns and getting better at that stuff. So my people with dumbbells, you guys finish up those two and two and then rest. All right. Now, last piece of this puzzle, I want to show you your receiving position. This receiving position is going to be a partial overhead squat. So I'm going to receive it partially down. That's as far as I'm going to go. I might not even need it, all right, depending on how heavy or how light this dumbbell is. If I can just kind of muscle it overhead, by all means, let's muscle it. But if I get tired and I need to catch it this little partial squat, I got to know where I'm going. So I want you guys to get that dumbbell in your head and give me two partial squats on the right and then two partial squats on the left. Go. Now, people that don't have any equipment, same thing, just mind it. Try to keep that bicep as close to the ear as you possibly can. Give me one, give me two, and then switch hands. Give me one, and then give me two. Awesome. Now, that's going to be your receiving position, potentially, for this dumbbell snatch. What I want you to do now is marry this stuff together. We're going to do this deadlift, sumo deadlift tie pull. Right after we do that sumo deadlift tie pull, we're going to turn punch to the sky, and if we need to, we can land in that partial squat. If we're strong enough and that dumbbell is light enough that we can just muscle it on overhead, we'll muscle it on overhead. So it's going to look like this. Jump, punch, we'll stand, we'll reset. Jump, punch, we'll stand, and we'll reset. My uh, people at the dumbbell, give me two dumbbell snatches, alternating one on the right, one on the left. My right, people with no dumbbells, we're going to mine it. We're going to jump and punch, stand, reset, left hand, jump, and punch, stand, and reset. Now when we punch, not out to the side, we're right in tight to the body. Elbow, or I should say bicep is close to the ear, bicep is away from the ear. We don't want that weight up here, we want that weight right overhead. Now we should be done with that, okay? So my dumbbell snatchers, you guys have your weights and know what you're doing with that dumbbell. You're also going to couple those two snatches with two dumbbell squats. And those dumbbell squats can be anywhere you want. Hold it in front, hold it in the side. Like I said before, you can even, if you really want to make it spicy, hold it overhead. That would be really good. Okay? Next place we're going, and this is going to be the last thing before we get this workout back and rolling, is figuring out these uh, handstand holds. Now, my progression is going to start very similar to where the warm up started. Where we are in the plank. All right, so everyone go down to the top of the plank position. In this top of the plank position, I want you to squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt. From here, I'm going to take my right arm off the floor. Before I do that, though, I'm going to lean to the left side. So I get a little lean to the left, and then I bring my hand off the, off the floor and touch the right shoulder. And then I'm going to lean to the right, and I'm going to pick up my left hand up off the floor and touch my left shoulder. Right hand goes to the right shoulder. Left hand goes to left shoulder. I want you guys to try 10 reps. All right, that's alternating. All right, it'll be five and five, on five eventually. But what's going to make this easier is make sure that you shift that body weight to the opposite side of whatever hand we're picking up. So watch me again. Keep going if you're still going, but watch. I shift the weight to the right, I pick the left hand up. I shift the weight to the left, I pick the right hand up. And that's really going to come in handy as we start to get up against the wall for this. We're gonna do 10, all right, make sure that we're getting that stuff in, right to left, or right to right, and left to left. Once we've got this 10, we'll shake it out really quick, and we're gonna make this more challenging. So here, instead of in the plank, I'm gonna walk my feet closer to my hands, all right? In this position, my hips are high, this kind of looks like downward dog, but I want you to push with your toes Push your body as far over those fingertips as you possibly can, so I feel all of the weight in my hands and in my fingertips. We're preparing ourselves for a handstand hold, a handstand walk, handstand push-ups, anything along those lines, and I need to feel like there's weight in my hand. I shouldn't feel it all the way back on my heels or on my toes. So I go back to that position, my weight is in my hands, and I'm going to once again lean to the right, 
pick up the left hand. Lean to the left, pick up the right hand. And I want you guys to try 10 total here. Right to right, left to left, lean to the opposite side. Put the weight in the hand that's still on the floor and not in the one that you're obviously picking up to touch the shoulder with. All right? Keep moving, shift that body weight, pick it up and touch. I'll demo one more time. I shift the weight, I pick the hand up. Maybe this is a better angle. I shift the weight, I touch the shoulder, I shift the weight, I touch the shoulder. Okay? Now, if that's super easy, we're going to venture over to the wall here in a second. If that's not super easy, I want you to stay right here on the floor. Now, a couple of options that we have between the floor and the wall, but I don't want to get into it too much right now, is lifting those feet up onto a box or a bench, and that will make this a little bit more challenging. But if we're not there quite yet, we'll stay on the floor. So where we're going to go next is we're going to bring it over to the wall. We're going to face the wall to start with. So here on the wall, I'm going to what's called lay down on the floor. All right, I'm going to bring my feet up onto the wall, just one step. All right now, with that one step, my toes are on the wall, my hands are about shoulder width apart, my head is between my arms, and I'm looking back at the wall. The most important piece of that position is that my body is in a nice straight line. I'm squeezing my belly, I'm squeezing my butt, my hips don't stack to the floor, stack to the wall. Everything is in a nice straight line. So squeeze your belly, squeeze your butt. I'm also pressing into the floor. I have to make sure that I'm pushing that floor away from, uh, away from my body, almost as if I was trying to move the earth. All right? So we're going to go back to that position. We're going to go back to those shoulder touches as well. I'm going to shift my body weight to the right. I'm going to pick my left hand up, touch the left shoulder. I'm going to do the opposite. Shift to the left, pick the right hand up, touch the right shoulder. It's going to look like this. All right, I'm up on the wall. I'm going to shift, touch, shift, touch. And I'm going to go through, we're going to go for 10 total repetitions, guys. 10 total repetitions. Right to right, left to left. Shift the body weight. Touch the shoulder. Once you guys have that, we're either on the floor or we're on the wall. Right, we're in one of those two positions. Now, I know some of us might be close to or even have handstand holds right now. All right, keep in mind this is a progression. We're getting there. Don't worry. So if we're done on the wall, we can make this harder, and I'll let you guys choose this option here. We can walk ourselves as close to the wall as we can get. Goal being nose to the wall, I don't get about a foot away from the wall and extend my chest to the wall to try to touch the wall. I get as close as I can walking my way to the wall so that my nose essentially touches or is close to that wall. Once I'm in that position, then I can do the same thing, touch and touch. Before you do that, we can also, if we're there, we're going to kick up to the wall and we can touch with our backs to the wall. Now, if we're not there yet, just stay against the wall, feet as high as we can get. All right, I'm gonna choose to walk up the wall just so I can demonstrate that for you. But let's get 10, either position, three, two, one, go. All right, so I walk up the wall, I'm walking myself back. All right, my nose here is right at the wall, I'm gonna shift my weight and touch, shift my weight, and then I touch. Okay, 10 reps. It doesn't have to be super fast. I'm more concerned with you feeling the shift of the weight before you lift that hand up off the floor and touch the shoulder. Feel the shift and then touch. Feel the shift and then touch. All right? You got 10 reps there. Now, how I like to get people upside down is just, I mean, just simply starting with learning how to plant the hands. All right? This may be saved for another day, but we can get into it right now. I'm going to, hands are out. Every time I kick up, I cannot have those arms bent. They have to be straight. All right? Nothing can bend these arms. I'm pressing into the floor. I'm pushing that earth away from me. Okay? Now, from here, I'm going to plant my hands on the floor, and I'm just going to get a little baby kick. Not even trying to kick up to the wall. You don't, you don't even have to get over to the wall yet. Just Kick up just a quarter of the way, just in space. All right, we're planting the hands, we're pressing into the floor, we're kicking, and then we're back down. Okay, try a couple of those. If we're able to, we'll get over to the wall. 
We'll plant the hands, we'll kick, and then we'll bring that other foot up there. Now, to really get a good hang of this, try to keep the wall ever so gently. Like, so, so gently. Just barely kiss the wall with your heels. Because if we're throwing our thighs or throwing our hips or throwing our shoulders into the wall, how is that going to make it any better when we go to do handstand walks and things in free space? It's going to make it really, really hard. So try kicking up just enough for those heels. Just barely kiss the wall, and then I come back down. Okay? Try a couple of either just practice kick-ups here on the floor, just little baby kicks. All right, maybe a quarter of the way up. Do not try to go all the way up in free space. Or we're over at the wall, and we're trying to kick up and just barely kiss. Barely kiss the wall. All right, I'm going to try it over here on the wall. You guys can watch. All right, we're doing it. We're pressing the floor, and we just kiss. All right, and then I'm back down, shake it out, and then we're going to go right back up. All right, great. You guys keep going, get your five in, and that's where we're going to finish this little piece of progression. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. If we can kick up to the wall like that, I want you to do some version of a handstand hold today. It might not be a full 60 seconds. It might be 30 seconds. It might be 20 seconds. Whatever is challenging for you. All right, now, with a 60-second clock and someone who's RXing this workout, I would expect them to be able to do 60 seconds in, I would say, no more than three sets. No more than three sets. Okay, so if we can complete 60 second handstand hold and no more than three sets, let's do this. All right, let's do the 60 seconds. If we feel like it's going to take us four, five, six sets to get through 60 seconds, so if we can only hold the handstand for 10 seconds, let's scale that down to 30 seconds. All right, let's cut it in half. And that's going to be really good because you're going to get some rest. You're not going to be able to kick down and go right back up. You're going to have to shake it out, let yourself recover, and then kick back up. All right, so that's going to be my biggest scaling option um, as far as that handstand pull. If we can't kick up, we're going to go to these alternatives. We're going to go to those shoulder touches. All right, whatever position that you had that was challenging in the progression, let's go back to those shoulder touches and we're going to do 40 total. Now, shift the weight, touch the shoulder. Shift the weight, touch the shoulder. Not just sporadically throwing those hands up there, wondering what the heck's going on. I want purpose with this. So I should feel that weight shift, and then I should feel that touch. So make it count. And that's what we're going to do for handstand. But everyone else, you guys have your goals, or um, have your weights for the dumbbell snatches and squats, and you guys have those three screws with the jump, plus those two squats. Now, um, if anyone has any questions about the workout, what they should or should not be doing, throw that in the chat right now. Go to the bathroom really quick, grab a quick drink of water, and we're going to set this thing off. We'll take it about uh, about two minutes, guys. About two minutes. If you guys have any questions, throw that stuff in the chat. If you guys have any anything about the workout, we'll get this thing rocking and rolling um, here in about 90 seconds as soon as you guys get back from the bathroom, get finished setting yourself up. If you guys want to maybe get a couple more snatches in there or anything like that, and a couple more squats if you guys want to just get upside down a little bit more. We've got about 60 seconds before we get this thing started. Um, that being said, you just want to, I, I'm definitely one of those people that just like to take a couple of deep breaths. You know, there's nothing else I need to do. Right, I'm ready to, ready to go. Okay, so I'm not going to be moving quite as fast as you guys because I want to be able to give you guys some little tips and tricks along the way. But I will be doing those dumbbell snatches along with those dumbbell squats. And then I'll also, excuse me, I'll also be holding that handstand against that wall over there. Mid workout, if you guys have any questions, throw that stuff in the chat. And then just more importantly, keep getting after it, keep having fun. All right. We're going to use this clock over here on the whiteboard. I believe you guys can see it. I know the uh, whiteboard itself is out of focus, uh, but the clock should be good to go. Um, either way, I'll let you guys know when that 15 minutes is up. All you guys got to do is have fun and work hard. All right, so it is Friday. We're ready to rock and roll somewhere, somewhere out there. You guys, someone needs a high five, someone needs a chest bump, someone needs a knuckle bump, a elbow tap, a foot tap, anything you guys got. Give someone next to you or somewhere on the screen just a little um, virtual fist bump, a visual elbow tap, and let's get ready to get after. All right, 
So you guys are ready? We're going to start this thing off in 10 seconds. In five, in three, two, one, go. Remember those two dumbbell snatches plus those two squats. That's one set. You got ten of those. Switch in midair, switch in midair. On the way down, switch those hands, touch the floor, and then into that next snatch. If you guys don't need to put it down, don't put that dumbbell down. Down, to rest before you pick up. Try to hold for as long as you can. Maybe you got 10 seconds. Maybe you got 20. Maybe you got 30. Whatever you guys got, try to pick up and hold in that as long as you can. Here we go. Nine. And there's ten. All right, that's hard. A lot harder than I thought it would be. Here we go. Nine. All right, guys. Now, as we're holding, this is a great place to try to get your breath. Breathing into your nose, out of your mouth. Remember, we're pressing into the floor here. Trying to push that earth away. Trying to push that floor away from us. Holding on for as long as we can. All right, I got it off. It's about 25 seconds for me. Let's go down 30. Right there. Rest in, shake it out. Then get right back up there. But just remember to keep pushing that floor away. We're never loose. We're never soft. Those arms are never bending. We're always pushing that floor away. Here we go. Come on, right back up. Feet are together if you can. Pressing into that floor. Try to get those ears in line with those biceps, guys. Now, as you're pressing, bring those ribs to your hips. I never want to be in this position here. I don't want those, think about your sternum and your belly button. I don't want those two things away from each other. I want those two things closer together. So keep those things tight and close as we're pressing up overhead. All right. Going back to those snatches and those squats. Yeah, guys. On those squats, hips gotta go back, knees gotta go out. Don't get lazy. 
by just pushing on the knees forward. Hips got to go back if I'm sitting in the chair. All right, sitting in the chair.
We've already started the day, that's all right. Now we're just getting after it. Now we're getting after it, baby. Come on. Go in. We got a few more. Four minutes and 20 seconds. We're really close. This is where we gotta put the pedal down and we gotta keep moving. Quiet. Do everything you can to pick that dumbbell up. Then rest on the floor minimally. Get back on the dumbbell or get back on the wall. Here we go. Come on. Finish this round. 
Then it's being done up. Number 10. Three, two, one, time. Good work, bro. Oh, man. Those dumbbells. Those dumbbells are spicy. Woo! Way to finish strong, man, guys. Good work. Ah. I gotta imagine it would have been very difficult. Five rounds. Any of you guys get five up there? You guys got probably like the four. Four and five range was probably really challenging to do, um, especially with those handstand holds. You know, they probably got bad around round two, round three. You guys probably had to break them up a little bit more. But really good out there, guys. Really good push. Awesome Friday. We're going to finish up with a little bit of stretching, and then we'll get you guys all out of here. Really good job, guys. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Breathe. Try to bring that heart rate down a little bit. Get some water if you need to, guys. I know it's tough. All right, so shoulders are probably the stuff that's going to be most smoked from this workout, you know, especially with those dumbbell uh, snatches as well as that handstand hold overhead. Lad's got four rounds. Nice job, guys. Good work. Yeah, four to five, definitely somewhere in that range um, would, be, would be a great score. Um, so this is what we're going to do, stretch out those shoulders. You guys are going to actually lay right on the ground, kind of like we did for those Superman positions. And you guys are going to put those arms at 90 degrees. All right, so 90 degrees with those arms. I'm going to stretch my right shoulder first. So that means I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to put it right outside my, uh, my pec there. I'm going to press into the ground and rotate my body away from my right shoulder. I push up off the floor. Now the more stretch you want, push that, push that uh, body off the floor. All right, we're stretching, we're stretching. Keep holding. To feel that in your pecs and your shoulders of that right side. Good work through. All right, and then we're back down, going to our left side now. So left hand to 90 degrees, left arm to 90 degrees, my hands just outside my right pet. And now I'm going to push off the floor and rotate away from that left side. Good work, guys. Stretching, stretching. All right, and rest. All right, last thing I'm going to do is a little reach roll lift. Okay, so I'm going to go to my knees. All right, I'm going to bring my butt to my heels just like I am right now. I'm going to reach my arms out as far as I can. I'm going to push my head through the window. All right, so once again, my ears are in line with my biceps. Now the reach part. I'm going to kind of reach my hands out there as far as I can. I'm going to roll by pointing my thumb to the sky, and I'm going to lift off the floor. So it's a reach, a roll, and a lift. Now, when you lift, I want you to hold one more thousand at the top of that lift before you bring it back down. All right, so let's try 10 total, five on the right, five on the left. Three, two, one, go. Reach. Roll over the sky and then lift full of 1,000 before you put it back to that. Reach, roll, and then lift. Reach, roll, and then lift. One arm will inevitably be better than the other, and that's okay. This gives us some weakness and something to work on. All right, just keep trying to lift that arm. All right, just get both arms up off the floor as high as you possibly can. Good work, guys. Reach, roll, lift. 
Once you guys got 10 there, you guys could go back and forth between those stretches on the 90 degree left and right on the floor, and then you can also go back to those reach roll and lifts. But those are the stretches for the day. If you guys have any questions, throw that stuff in the chat. Really great job today on that hand plan and home workout. Really awesome to be here with you guys. Happy to have you guys here with me. Remember, come back here next Friday um, and we'll do this again. Really awesome job. Good work today, guys. Really great to see everyone. Put those questions or comments over there in the chat. Really great job. I see some three rounds there. I see four rounds. Yeah, it's really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Good job, crew. <laughs> That was spicy. Spicy, spicy. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Really good job. Good work, crew. If there aren't any questions, that's going to just about do it for us here at the Hand Plan Studio. Like I said, really awesome job today. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, I always have a good time doing this stuff. I love working out with you guys. I love uh, giving you guys everything that I have as far as uh, you know, coaching these classes goes. Um, so if you guys ever need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I'm always available to you guys. Awesome job today. Good stuff. <laughs>